Do you think that the, the contestants from India sort of have some kind of advantage? I mean, we do, because we always seem to stand out, first of all, because of the way we dress and our heritage that we carry along with us wherever we go. And um, you're always in view, and plus the way we, I guess, present ourselves, carry ourselves and talk. Well, anyone who saw the show last night will, will know that you seemed incredibly composed in amongst all the madness that was going on around you. Were you really that relaxed? What was going on? Oh, backstage you should have seen me. <laughs> So it's just it's an act. Crazy. Wasn't it? it wasn't an act. When you, I'm a very stage person. I love people, and uh, when you get on stage, you get completely composed all the time because I've done a lot of theatre before, and I've been on stage quite often. And plus, after Miss India, which was a huge audience of about seventy thousand people, so this didn't seem as overwhelming as I thought it would be. Now, um, we had Miss India last year in the studio mm -hmm. to talk to us then. And I have to say that between then and now, we haven't seen a great deal of her in terms of what she's done and what she's achieved. Is it quite a, a big responsibility to actually try and make some kind of a mark? Because I know every year we hear the same thing, you want to change things, you want to get people dealing I, with issues. I don't want to change things. I can't change things because I'm just one person. But I have got an opportunity and a platform where I can influence people's minds their thoughts and their actions. And I guess I'd like to explore on that. Well, when I understand, I don't quite understand in practice. I mean, how can you actually do, what well, will you actually be doing? Media, because I have come onto a platform like Miss World, where people would actually look up to me as a role model, especially in developing countries like India and um, surrounding countries. It's a very big thing for India to have a role, uh, Miss World from India. and. Um, it's very important for them to understand who we are and when they start doing that after the past winners that we've had we've become sort of like role models for them and they listen i believe you asked one of the other girls a very difficult question in the final set to i've got it down here it, it was if ignorance is bliss why do people seek knowledge yeah. that was a question you posed for one of your opponents that was a question difficult question that was a question i was asked for miss india that was my final judging question was that a fair question do you think because it really put the girl on the spot didn't it well it was it was my question and that we, we all had given in five questions which we might, if we became finalists, ask the other girls, and the most difficult one got it was Miss. It was Miss Uruguay who got yeah. asked the question, did she have a go at you afterwards and say? <laughs> <laughs> she just came backstage and told me, it's an intelligent question. I said that was an intelligent answer. <laughs> so it was okay in the end? Yeah, it was all right. She was very happy. If you want to see an awesome clip of a young Oprah Winfrey, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Well, the new sister news director came to me and said, you know, your hair is too long, it's too thick, your eyes are too far apart, your nose is too wide, and your chin's too long.